Hello YouTube, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Alice. And I'm Kevin. And our channel is all about living low carb, helping you become the best version of yourself. You guys really liked our last Costco Whole Foods grocery haul, so we're back at it here today with another full spread of everything we bought. So we would say that the majority of our nutrition comes from meat and animal-based products, probably 80 to 90%. So on the left side of the table are all the different types of meat we bought today. Mainly beef, um, some poultry, eggs and dairy. And on this side of the table, we have some fruit, some snacks, some drinks, and some other miscellaneous condiments and other items. They're mostly all low carb. No, no rice in my kitchen. No. <laughs> all this food here will probably last us anywhere from one and a half to two weeks. We don't buy it this much every single time, but this is one of our bigger hauls. That's why we wanted to film it. So next week we probably buy a little bit less, probably just a few meat products. So if you're interested to know what we eat in a given week and how much all of this costs, then stay tuned till the end of the video. If you're new to our channel, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps us bring more content to you in the future. So starting off with our meats, which make up 80 to 95% of our calories, is this staple that we always get, which is organic ground beef. This specific one's from Costco and is 85, 15, so 85, 15 fat. We always prefer the fattier cuts of ground beef. The fattier, the better, the more satiating it is. We use this usually in our taco bowls, our cheeseburger bowls. Sometimes Kevin will throw this in with his eggs. Very versatile, fairly economical compared to other cuts of beef. Unfortunately, the price has gone up a little bit on these guys. They're $29.99 now for the pack of three. They used to be $24.99, I think, but no. hashtag inflation. Yeah, for sure, especially on beef. The next product that Alice loves and for breakfast and just for lunch are these Welshire hot dogs from Whole Foods. They are no sugar added. Here are the macros for you guys. Zero carb. And then as you can see, not too many weird ingredients or nitrites, really clean. No, and they're extremely tasty. Like yeah. they don't taste any different than a real hot dog. I've tried some other quote unquote like healthy hot dogs before in the past, but the, either the texture is off or the taste isn't completely there. Uh, but these are very close to the real thing, I'd say. Yep. And then two things that we sometimes splurge on are these beef ribs, which are basically the rib portion of the ribeye. They sell them in racks. Sometimes they're in the whole rack at Costco, but uh, this one is already pre-cut. It weighs about 1.8 or three and a half pounds. These are incredibly fatty. We do have a recipe on our channel that we'll link down below. Uh, they just come out unbelievably tender. Yeah. Probably one of our favorite beef recipes. Yeah, it's, we do exist. it yeah, all the time. Super simple recipe. It just takes a bit of time, but you don't have to do much work for it. So it's all pretty awesome. These are two one pound steaks. We've been sous vide these lately. We just find that it comes out really nice when it's sous vide sometimes on stovetop doesn't cook evenly, or sometimes the center's still raw. Let us know in the, down, in the comments down below if you want us to see that sous vide recipe, we'll post, we'll post it up. It does take a little bit of time, but I think it, you know, for spending money on a ribeye, you probably want it to taste as mm -hmm. good as possible. So I think sous vide is the way to go. Yeah, and if you don't have a sous vide, there's a good way to make it in the oven, like a reverse sear Yeah, uh, we can show you as well. It's the same sort of technique. We like to get some fish in at least twice a week. This one is, Normally we do salmon, but this week we decided to do some trout. So this is steelhead trout, uh, one filet, about two pounds. So we'll usually split this for a dinner, maybe multiple meals actually. It's pretty Couple big. Meals, yeah. It's pretty big. This is a little bit fattier than sockeye salmon. Sometimes with sockeye salmon, it comes out a little bit dry. Even if you add fat or mayo, yeah. butter, it's still, I still find the texture to be a little dry. The trout, yeah, you see that marbled fat kind of in between. It's yeah. a very tasty fish. It's got a more mild flavor than yeah. salmon for sure. Not as, it doesn't have that salmon taste. <laughs> yeah. We also like Atlantic salmon too. Typically we get the frozen ones at Costco. They're farmed in Norway, so it's uh, quite a bit cleaner, but these are, these are good as well. And then we like to get a fatty cut of chicken. So usually the dark meat. So this week we picked up chicken wings and this is a almost five pound pack of chicken wings. Once you buy chicken wings from Costco, you can never buy them anywhere else. It's like yeah. a fraction of the price. Chicken wings are incredibly versatile just for lunch and, and or dinner. You just throw them in the air fryer. Yep, 20 minutes in the air fryer and they're ready. And then this is an item that we like to add to our breakfast sometimes. These are these Greenfield Natural Meat 
Sausage rounds, fully cooked, um, pretty clean. I'll show you guys the macros. Um, no carbs, and then there is a little bit of cane sugar and a little bit of rice concentrate and spices, but quite minimal amounts, I'm assuming, and no other weird ingredients, so. It's Something. honestly the cleanest sausage patty we found. Yeah, they sell this in bulk at Costco. Exists, yeah. So it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. And yeah, we'll add this sometimes with our eggs in the morning if we don't want to cook some of the other meat. These are really good. It's basically tastes like the McDonald's McDonald's uh, sausage yeah, patties. Yeah, quite tasty. There's yeah. no sacrifice of flavor at all. No, they're really um, good. Compared to like a traditional unhealthy sausage round. <laughs> yeah, so we'll usually have this with eggs and some cheese and, and these sausages in the morning. It's a really good breakfast. Then another breakfast staple is bacon, of course. I this actually is... just realized it's from the same brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out so, to Greenfield. They make good stuff. Yeah, so Costco started carrying this brand. We always look at the ingredients usually to see what's, what's there. There is a little bit of carbs and a little bit of cane sugar as well. But if usually when you look at bacon, there's nitrites. And the ingredients here are pretty clean. Yeah, it ends up being zero grams of sugar, which I don't know. Yeah, it's, that's pretty good. Like, it's hard to find. It's very hard to find. Like cost, cost efficient yeah. bacon that's zero sugar in, in Canada that I found, unless you go to specialty stores. No, almost stores. everything has something in it. Yeah. This is probably Whole Foods has some too, but it's really expensive. So yeah. we try to only get some things from Whole Foods. Another staple, organic eggs. Yeah, we get two packs, as you can see, two. Must have. We go through about a pack and a half a week. Yeah, Alice will eat three, I'll eat four a day on average. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, that like, like we said, we combine the eggs with bacon, the hot dogs, <laughs> and the sausage, sausage rounds. rounds. That's a typical breakfast. And also us. what we'll talk about next is the dairy that we also add to our breakfast or burgers or whatever else we make. We bought two today. We love this one, this, this cheese. Super tasty. If you've never tried Kerrygold before, you have to go to Shot. It has a very different flavor than other cheeses. Like the first time I tried it, I was, my mind was kind of blown. Yeah, it's kind of so sweet. It's like a very, yeah, it's umami. Yeah. That's the, it's the umami flavor. That's exactly. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. And it's a good deal at Costco. It's a big brick of it for. Yeah, I have seen other, they make other lines. Like this is their hard ripened. I've also seen they're Gouda. I think they make a Gouda. Yeah, they make a few. Have we tried the Gouda one before? Yeah, yeah. we tried the Gouda. Yeah, we tried the Gouda one, and then they also have a reserve yeah. blend that's like a black packaging. Yeah. Uh, but those ones they only sell at Whole Foods, and it's the same price for like this this much. Yeah, like, like a third. <laughs> yeah, so it's a treat. Yeah. Um, but for sort of like weekly grocery staples, we stick with. Yeah, this cheese is really good, and it's grass fed. <laughs> yeah. Grass fed cheese, so it's super healthy, high in good fats. We also like Havarti. We don't get this one too often, but we decided to treat ourselves this week. I love the flavor of Harvati. Yeah, Just me a too. creamy, yeah, tasty Super cheese. Good. Sometimes we'll put this on our eggs. Yep. We may also put it like with keto bread. Yeah. If we're having keto bread that day. So nothing too weird here. Or just even as a snack. Saputo's a Canadian dairy brand. And then Alice loves her Greek yogurt. Yeah. So this is probably one of the cleanest Greek yogurts that we found. It's organic, it's grass fed, and the macros on it um, for a yogurt. Yeah, it's five. Five, five net carbs um, per three quarters of a cup. If you're counting your net carbs very strictly, if you're trying to do under 25, then you do have to be careful. You might not want to eat this, but um, for us, this is okay. I don't ever eat more than like a cup a day anyways. It's very tasty. I've never really tried a yogurt that tastes like this before. It's like almost kind of tastes like sour cream. Yeah, it's very tart. It's very tart. Yeah. Um, and you know, there's no added sugars or anything. And this is, I can just eat this plain. I may add some fruit in it depending on how I feel, but this is just a good source of, again, fat and protein. Next, we have some fruits. So we mainly eat berries, low carb berries. Uh, we also have a grapefruit here. The grapefruit I probably eat over two days. <laughs> Do you have to be careful? Grapefruit does have a little bit of carbs, um, but usually if I'm working out, then it's okay to have yeah. a little bit. Uh, I do find it helps with the energy levels and whatnot. And then berries, always a staple. We got blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries. And I don't know about you guys, but I find that the Driscoll's, is that how you say it? Driscoll's. Driscoll's brand tastes the best. So normally we eat about a cup to a cup and a half of berries a day, which works out to be 20 to maybe 30 net carbs. So that's basically our primary carb source, if any. Some days we won't eat any. 
Um, usually it's based on activity level as well. Yeah. We have a little bit of vegetables here. This is actually, uh, my mother-in-law brought this over because she knows I like mini, <laughs> uh, mini bell peppers, but I'll just eat this as a snack, just plain, nothing on it. I don't even, I don't even need to dip <laughs> my vegetables in any sort of dressing anymore. Um, I just like the flavor as is. And then this isn't something that we buy every week. This is just a bag of kale mix. We used to buy this a lot back in the day. It's just a blend of a bunch of different vegetables. Probably just have it as a lunch option this week because we are a little bit busier. So I wanted to have something convenient on hand mm. to make sure um, I don't order out. This does have a dressing in it that I probably will not eat. It's got sugar in it and probably not the healthiest dressing, to be honest. Yeah, no, it's got like soybean and canola oil. Yeah, a bunch of sugar. I, I'm probably not gonna go for the dressing, but I did buy another dressing that I'll show you in a second. Yeah. Probably just gonna have it with Primal Kitchen, our favorite. They have a bunch of different flavors. Uh, I like the Green Goddess one. The ranch one's good too. Caesar is also good. It's a little bit cleaner. The base is avocado oil. Yeah, not seed oils, so. Yeah, yeah. Primal Kitchen is a pretty good brand for their dressings. Next, we have our drinks. We have uh, coffee here, must have. This one has no sugar in it, nothing added. I never drank, even before I was on the low carb lifestyle, I never put sugar in my coffee because I don't like sweet coffee. What I'll do is, because it's summer right now, I like to drink iced coffee. Um, in the wintertime and stuff, we do have an espresso machine that I use. Um, and then I'll just add this uh, Rolling Meadows grass fed half and half in there. Yeah, we picked this up from Whole Foods today. Yeah, this does spike your insulin a little bit more than whole fat cream or what you call it, uh, whipping cream. Yeah, but heavy I, cream. I find heavy cream to be a little bit too much for the coffee. Like I, yeah, I really yeah. just want like a little dash of cream. I don't want the whole cup mm. to taste like, you know, milk. Yeah, it's tasty though, this cream. It has a good flavor. Yeah, it has good flavor. Next, we have our electrolytes. So I actually bought this off Amazon. This wasn't at Costco. Yeah, I have seen a lot of YouTubers talking about Element. So I, we don't have it anywhere local here. So I had to go on Amazon to get it, but yeah. I'm pretty interested to try it. I'll show you the electrolytes that we usually buy in a second, but I just wanted to kind of try something different. And I always see people talking about this one. This one has a lot of salt. Yeah. So yeah. Why not? Trying new things. This is the one that we usually get, the Organica brand. This one also has collagen in it. I think it's a Canadian brand. I'm not sure if you can get it in the States or not. Is it uh, a Canadian brand? You can get it on Amazon as well. Caffeine free has collagen. Yeah. So this does, if you're fasting, this does break your fast. We've also tried the Vega brand electrolytes. Those ones do not have any calories. So those are like, uh, if you're intermittent fasting, it's more the friendly option. Mm -hmm. uh, so for this one here, you'd have to wait till your yeah. fast is over. We, we've never tried this flavor yet though. We usually get the strawberry lemonade, I think. Isn't it peach? Yeah, straw no, peach lemonade. Peach lemonade or yeah. stra strawberry or something. This, this is a mixed berry, so. So we'll see. Yeah, you Hopefully just mix it with water. Yeah. And there's how many grams of collagen in it? Five grams per serving. We get enough collagen from our meats. So yeah. we're not buying this for the collagen. It's just that there's not a ton of electrolyte options in Canada and this is one of the better tasting yeah, ones. Yeah, this one tastes really good. Yeah, this one <laughs> tastes good. So I don't know. If I could choose, I would go for that without the collagen, mm -hmm. buy the option. Yeah, but there's no- Because then no. that way you can drink it while you're fasting. Yeah. yeah. And then this brand here came out. Oh, this one's so exciting. <laughs> this uh, probably maybe three to six months ago. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a new product. I haven't really seen it on um, our shelves until recently, but we are obsessed. These are so good. So we used to drink Zevia. Zevia was our drink of choice for the longest time. Yeah. But Zevia is carbonated. And I did read somewhere that carbonated drinks still can affect your teeth. Like yeah. it can still break down your enamel over time, even though it has no sugar. So we... Yeah, just kind of discovered this randomly. There's a little bit of coconut water, but there's not that much sugar actually. It's sweetened with erythritol. Yeah, then just some additional vitamins. And, and it's actually very tasty. It doesn't have that artificial sweetener taste. Yeah. Or I don't know, maybe it's just because we've been low carb for so long and haven't eaten real sugar for so long that it doesn't taste any different to me now. But blueberry acai is my favorite flavor. It's so good. They also have, Man Georgia, yeah. That's Georgia peach. Have we tried the Georgia peach one? No, we haven't tried that one. I'm excited to try that. Mango, and then they also have... They have a strawberry coconut that I saw on their website. And a watermelon um, cucumber. Oh yeah, I'm not a big fan of the watermelon one. Yeah. The blueberry one is really good though. Yeah. These keto bars from Costco are really oh, good we too. we could talk about these for so long. Yeah. 
When we transitioned to keto for the first time, I would say these bars were like a lifesaver because, you know, it's pretty hard in the beginning when you're not used to oh, eating sure. low carb. And I don't know, these just really help. But it was on sale this week. It was yeah. $4 off, so we yeah. had to get it. <laughs> Obviously, this is 100% optimal. This is... This helps. This helps. <laughs> this helps. <laughs> it's tasty. Yeah. Um, what other things do we have? We have uh, just mayonnaise here, chosen foods. Yeah. Um, watched a lot of videos on other YouTubers talking about yeah, avocado good... avocado oil mayo. Avocado mayo? What is, yeah. it, what is it called? Avocado oil mayo. Avocado oil mayo and chosen foods is supposed to be the best. So. Yeah. They sell it in bulk, like these big jars at Costco well, as well? Yeah. Oh. What do we put this in? We put so this... Maybe if we do like... Tuna salad, salmon salad. Yeah. Um, uh, put it on the wild sockeye salmon because I find that salmon just really dry. Use it for dips and stuff. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Mix it with, yeah. Usually mix it with sour cream and yeah. make dips. It takes us a while to go through one of these jars. Yeah. We're no. not eating mayo. No, no. Day. Like, yeah. The, yeah. The, a lot of the stuff here is more like very sporadic. It's for just a little bit for flavor, right? Yeah. And then we have the queso dip. That's... We showed it in our last video. Yeah. This one's fairly clean, surprisingly. So these are the ingredients, mostly just cheese, sour cream, and then a little bit of vegetables at the bottom there and some seasonings, but no weird preservatives or anything. No. And, and it's quite tasty, actually. Hmm. We're cheese. all about like healthy with taste. Like we don't like to sacrifice our flavor. Yeah. Two night carbs. And then we picked this up for the first time. Usually we get avocados, but we've had... We, we've had a bit of a experience with Costco avocados lately. Yeah. Some of them just never go right, but it doesn't matter what, how long you wait. It's kind of been annoying us. For the past like month, I would say, the avocados yeah. have really been like a miss. And Probably because it's not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe they're not, not in season. Um, yeah. And they've also gone like 30% more expensive. Yeah. There's all the ingredients there. Nothing too weird. Nope, pretty clean. And then one net carb. And it also doesn't expire until July, so we should be able to finish yeah. all of this. But we eat, yeah. We eat quite a bit of avocado. Yeah. I try to, but this is, I don't know, just an alternative, so I guess. We'll, yeah, we'll let you know in the comments how it tastes, if it's any good. But uh, yeah, this is an experimental one pickup for us. So this is what we spent today at Costco. It was about $280. Again, this is food for almost two weeks. Uh, next week, we will probably go back, but we won't spend as much. And then at Whole Foods, it was about $80. And that is primarily because of the um, electrolytes. They were actually on sale today. They were $5 off. That's why we got them. But we usually buy this like once every two, two months. Maybe. If you liked our video today, please give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below of what videos you want to see from us in the future. Until next time.